Ugh. Eleven people. Okay, I'll buy that. <laughs> so yeah, if you're just tuning in, playing some Mass Effect tonight. What up, Sam? I don't see how it's possible that it, it could be saying that I'm having eleven people watching me right now. I doubt that's the case. I'm pretty certain it's just Sam. And only Sam. Which is cool. I appreciate Sam watching me. Damn school. Let us see what we have here. Who bad is joined? already joined uh, okay Pablo mannequin thanks for the auto hosts appreciate it did that tweet actually send or did I not send it there it goes okay so if people are interested we're playing Mass Effect 3 again it's been a week we were away on vacation to Disney World which was awesome and now we're back into the grind. The grind of the work life and the grind of the stream life. So let's get it back here. Start it up nice with Mass Effect 3 again. Now I gotta remember where the fuck I was. So, without further ado, let's get to it. the hell we left off at. Not sure how many people are actually watching Mass Effect 3 tonight. Probably not a lot. A lot of Resident Evil 7 people. Feeling up to 
thought we could do something fun. For oh you. yeah, Garrus. That's where we left off. I'm gonna go chill with Garrus out on the Presidium. Not a lot of peeps, but that's cool. All right, Garrus, let's go chill, brother. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Hey, Bytus, thanks for the retweet. Appreciate it, brother. Now I'm down to two viewers. Which makes no sense because it says Sam's here. Where are we going? And I see Pablo. Not to. And I know I'm here. <laughs> Some things never so yeah, changed. two. That makes sense. Ever have Fucking that one Twitch. Thing you always <laughs> do before you died, Shepard. Too busy trying to live. What's hey. Yours? The whole time. Chill with Garris here. C I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. <laughs> But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? <laughs> nope. No. Now I just don't give a damn. I figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? <laughs> you obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? <laughs> I think that ride's been rough on you, Garrus. You've got a new scar every time I see you. you losing a step there in your old age? <laughs> Raise your hand if you haven't been killed before. <laughs> Touche. Burn. Now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun. Just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. Do it. Technically, I died. <laughs> yeah, well, <next> time, <laughs> there's Pablo. Rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the I was wondering the where you was. <laughs> hey, Sam, thanks for the host. Appreciate it, brother. All right, so now I kind of remember what we were doing. We were going to. Thank you, I already got you. you. I think we already cleared out everything that's on the Citadel worth doing. I'd like to request a transfer to the So now we were gonna try a DLC, I think. Let's just double check this shit. Do a quick rounds on the magic elevator. That takes us to every single place on the entire citadel from one elevator. Makes perfect sense. 
do a quick click of the button, see if there's any lingering missions. I think I did them all the last week, but we'll just double check. James, Chambers, Aid, Cortez. Uh, I don't care about any of that. It is quite a lovely pre-rendered still shot of the Citadel. Yeah, talk to all of them. Don't care. Pretty sure we've cleared all this up. So, what we're going to have to decide is what do we want to do? Do you want to do a Mega? A mega's long. I think it's like 3-4 hours. Barlavan and Liar, yeah. Alright, there's nothing to do here. Omega, Leviathan, or... Well, we could start Citadel, but I don't feel like doing that one. Let's save that one. Because otherwise, I mean, the next mission is just going to be go to start the Quarians. But you know what? Yeah, maybe let's just get that started so we get Tally on board. Make it real simple. Sergeant, I have a little... Keep it simple, stupid. Ah. Anything? Oh, we got some email. Thanks, Steve. I don't give a shit. Glad you're feeling better. I'd rather you not crash. Oh, okay. Um, any systems we haven't gotten to yet? Oh yeah, Jacob. Ah, oh, fucking Jacob. Server's fighter base. Yeah, let's go take care of Jacob, actually. Yeah. That shouldn't take too long, actually. Jacob's dumbass. I already got all the stuff. Just need to go to Array. Save Jacob's ass and all the people with him. Oh! And I get to punch that stupid scientist in the face. What the hell was his name? I can't think of his name all of a sudden. Well, we're gonna see it in a second, so. Basically, the dude from Overlord. That, you know, made his brother, turned his brother into a computer. While he was still alive. So that was nice of him. I don't need to raise my readiness. It's got the extended cut going now. All I need to do is just get everything. I need to do shit about my readiness. Uh, well, we'll bring Javik, because why not? And... I don't know. Eh, 
I guess Javik and Garrus. Thanks for the host, Jax. I appreciate it, as always. Jax Bane, everyone. 10 to 160%? That ain't cool. Like, honestly, I could just roll without a gun. I, I don't even need a pistol. Yeah. Just give me the 195%. That works for me. Two points there, ten points here. Damn it, gonna fall just short on that. Uh, hold off. Slam! Da -da -da. Hell yes. And hell yes. Now Javik's getting pretty badass. I was half expecting it to be like, insert disc two or insert disc one. I don't remember what disc number I have in there. But I was expecting to have to switch discs. Ah. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have no information on that. What Sir, Javik picking up know? chatter from a server squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down, then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. <laughs> Did. Come on, Jacob, you're a damn biotic. Do some biotic shit. Some biotic y stuff, Jacob. Did you forget how to fucking do shit? Anyway. Alright, just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? That's got the kick ass music. Ah, fuck. Could get rid of that thing. That should have killed that thing. Oh, that was a hit. Come on. Really? That guy just got disintegrated. Oh, fuck you. Shot him in the dick. In the dick! Oh, he fell off the box. Or is this gonna blow his head off? Now he's dead. Push! Push forward! Did 
Thank you, shield generator. Nope. Everybody did except Jacob. Jacob. How bad? I'll live. I think. What up, Patrick's? Thanks for stopping by, brother. And thanks for the retweets, as always. And thanks for the auto host. Well, not even auto host. You actually just manually hosted me. Thank you, Patrick's. Well done, Jacob. Well done. Really? Load screen? I don't remember that. That seems pretty lazy. My friend Patrick's just started watching. Jake? You know it says you're not watching. Oh my God. Go figure. Uh, I'm alright. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. <sighs> sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. I'm gonna walk off hey, a bullet. Yo. Good to see you too. Staying out of trouble, I see. Wait, Check. what? <laughs> this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. <laughs> Who the fuck was he just talking to? Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex <laughs> This game is so damn Science glitchy Science. sometimes. It's Superior. hilarious. Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the collector base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to yeah, I figured you were, but you know how Twitch is, man. It's, a pretty smart it's not the... We covered our bases. It takes a minute before it, like, catches up to itself. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus yeah, you hobble over there and do that. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob, Jacob, way out here. That's a surprise. Dr. Brown, I'm so sorry. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Because that's what I do. I'm Commander fucking Shepard. Here we go. This asshole. Archer. That's it. Yeah, I remember you, dickface. Commander Shepard. Dr. Gavin Archer. We met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. <laughs> let him worry. Basically, you let him worry and he just kills himself, so... I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander. You have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? Dick. I straight anyway, far from I'm doing okay, Patrick's. This was my Just got back from a uh, week vacation, so basically. Was in Disney World. With the kids and the fam. It was great. It was awesome. Now I'm back. Got off tomorrow at least since the kids are off. But back to work on Friday. Which sucks. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. 
Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. Hey, brother. Thanks for the, tr thanks for the tweet. Appreciate it. I'll just retweet that real quick. Thanks as always, Patrick. I have to go. And I'm not even gonna pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. Yeah, fuck you, dude. In case you didn't know, Project Overlord was basically that asshole right there, Gavin Archer, basically subjected his brother David to be... Basically, he just strapped him in and shoved tubes down his throat, opened his eyes up, and made him become a computer. Basically. Just so he could talk to the Geth. Did I miss something? Yeah, I almost missed something. There you go. Smack P. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. My guys all wearing Cerberus uniforms still. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I know, right, I Sam? Fucking asshole is what he is. How many scientists are here? And then he comes to me, Plus like, three. you know, right Plus now, like, hey, you probably don't remember me, but I was that dick face that, you know, subjected my brother to torture just for scientific gain. I can't possibly dismantle the yeah, dude, I remember you. I don't like you. It's important work. I kind of want to kill you. Wait, there are families here? Children? Like we didn't have enough to worry about. Uh, I know why you bring families, so... This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. Santana Sim... What's what is that? Santana Slim. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it, brother. Going to the roof. Or sister. Whatever. You win. Either way, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Okay, there's a couple things around here. I guess we could talk to Bryn. Got, Got a moment? Of course. Don't you think you put me... They wouldn't have it any other way. We didn't escape, just love, family. What kind of work... It's all boring and useless, I know. I could be sitting here letting you watch but this, but... Life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical... One force. Thanks for the host. I appreciate it, brother. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. Of course. It's humbling. What's your relationship with Jake? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. Yeah, what happened? I forgot. Your your mic, like, got fucked up. That happened, like, right before I left. Or maybe I was on 
vacation watching your stream and you were saying something about it. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. There's a specific thing for a mission sitting around here somewhere. I told you that we should have gone to Sanctuary. Look, let's just focus on getting out of here alive. No, no. No, you don't want to go to Sanctuary. That'd be a bad idea. Where is it? There it is. That's what I wanted. Some kind of poison. Tailored to Turians. Ah, oh, you lost your voice. Damn, dude. It's that time of year. I'm sure I'm going to get sick uh, probably this week because coming back from Disney World where it's like 70, 80 degrees every day and now I come back and, you know, it's 30, 40 degrees. It's going to suck. Hey, you okay? Anyway, did you watch any hockey tonight? Give us a minute. That's, uh, I caught the third period of the Flyers game. That was pretty nice. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. How long have you known Brit? We met through a mutual friend. Nah, that Bob sucks, though. dude. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing college. Yeah, Flyers won. Do nothing against the Rangers. My help, finding a place Mason to actually got a shutout. How could I say no? Maybe he's going to string together a couple good games. Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this on? I love the way Shepard says it. What is she to you? Is she yeah. available? Maybe. It's just No, Shepard, you can't bang these her. Are our final days. I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life. Whatever's left of it. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. No, I already said that. Anything on Cerberus? You never want to remember him. Don't beat yourself. <laughs> right. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus <laughs> and everything. And nice. Sat by the Mediterranean nice mannequin. That's when I lost well view. played. Yes, Mason got a shout out. And also a shutout. And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard. I'm a blah 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 blah. No, Shut Shepherd. the fuck so up, Jacob. You, God damn it. People out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. Ugh, Jacob. So boring. Alright, I think we got everything of use out of this place. Money, side missions. If Jacob says we're going to be alright. Let's just fucking do it. What would these people have done if we had They are for this And now they may all be dead. Yeah, they probably would have died. Nah. Nah. Anyway, let's get to work here. Got some Cerberus to kill. Another loading screen? I really mailed it in for this side mission. I don't remember this. I don't remember it having these loading screens.
Nah, nah, don't worry about it, dude. I am the, I am the king of typos, so. Yeah, thanks. That's exactly what I wanted to do. God damn it, Javik. Okay, we're going to have to start this one over. Why are you not... I'm hitting Y. Blow this fucker away, will you? Thank you. Alright, well at least we didn't die. Are you guys up here yet? Thanks. There we go. Alright, now we're in business. Yeah, if anybody has no room to speak about typos while typing on a phone, it's me. As Mannequin and Pablo will both tell you. The fuck, dude. You and your magic smoke. Oh, that guy should have been dead. Really? I don't think so, buddy. What the fuck? Fall over dead? I'm not complaining, but it just looked weird. Online now. We left all these credits here. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front of the facility. Fuck you, dude. Should've been dead. I gotta literally just sit here and spam this. Shield generator up there. If they keep getting these damn shields back. Yeah, fuck you. Snit. <laughs> oh, Javik, you got fucked up there, bud. I gotta tell you, the smoke is pissing me off. The smoke is the only thing saving you guys right now. It's pissing me off. Gun up there. Enemy on the gun above. You've got to get him off that gun. Move up. Keep low and find cover. Oh, that'll work. That should have been a headshot. Fuck. 
There we go. Use the shield generator to my advantage now. Fuck. Guy should be dead. I think that was a freaking headshot. Alright, fine. Fuck this guy. Activate those AA guns manually. Sure, why not? Is that dude really shooting me from there? Because that would be total bullshit. Huh. What do you get off of it? That's interesting. Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Who wants to do it? I choose the Jared, guy that was born in this repair. century. We'll do. Ready, Javin? It's just the two of us. Slammer. Hey, where'd that asshole go? How are the repairs coming? Oh, get out of here. You did not kill me. Raging Blonde, thanks for the auto host. Which may or may not have come in like a minute ago. This mission is annoying. What up, Bidus? If indeed Twitch is accurate and says that you came in, there you are. I choose Garrus. You do the repairs. Garrus, I choose you. Ready, Javin? It's just the two of us. It is like we never left, right, Bidus? It is. Actually, no. You know what, Garrus? You go up there. You take care of that shit up there. It is done. What the fuck? She just disappear. Here goes his face. Ah, that was a headshot. Ok, 
Come on. There's a headshot. Right in the dick. Yeah, I thought I saw you streaming earlier. I can't remember. Do I actually have to go do something here? I can't even remember right now. I may. No. I don't even remember what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing right now. What am I supposed to be doing? I guess just killing dudes. We'll power up the gun. Gotcha. I'm on it. There we go. That is what I was supposed to be doing. It's just one lingering asshole. Well, that sucks. Amnesia is an incredible game. The other gun is still down. Let's get over there. Get these people out of here. Well, that takes care of that. Okay. Okay. The guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we? Oh, at? sorry, Patrick. I missed Our your uh, first shuttle is already loaded with everyone. Missed your comment the there. Commander, when should yeah. we leave? What's our best chance for survival? If you haven't tuned in to Mannequin's you stream yet, are we ready? you definitely need to. Almost. Because There's no do it's just it's Three. insane. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. All right. Let's get these shuttles in the air. Evacuation is go. Evacuation. I, mean, I was skeptical at first, just because it didn't seem like a classic Resident Evil game. But just watching Mannequin play it now, I can see where they went with it, and it looks just ridiculous. Ridiculously good. The first transport is away. One is away. The first transport is away. All right, everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are. Cerberus troops have entered the base. Cerberus troops have entered the base. I don't know where they got that from. Fuck. Get out of here, dick. Nah, that doesn't happen. You're both dead. In fact, you're disintegrated. I can't even save right now? Well, that's bullshit. Actually, I can level up. I forgot about that. Let's see. Yes, give me this. Yes. <laughs> and ooh, what was this one? Interesting. I don't think I ever leveled this up before for you, Javik. Hey, and I have six points for myself. So Yes, kitty. What's the matter? I don't need overload. Yeah, combat room. That'll be good for now. Let's keep playing. Hmm. 
Nah. <laughs> yeah. We were all there, Bidus. We all watched you just crap your pants. Remember we were fucking egging you on? With your lurk commands and all your special commands. Just, Double time. just to mess with Put your head. Bay first so we can bring the door up. Then get out to the landing pad. Shoot him in the, the dick! Got it, here we go. We'll okay, let's get these people out of here. Uh, yeah. Don't go over the wall. Javik, do something. I don't know. Nasty. Here we go! Splat! Gonna get an atlas in here in a minute. Sorry, I'm kind of focused in on this at the moment. I will check chat in a second if anybody's saying anything relevant. Ow, that hurt. Oh, almost dead. Take out that shield generator. Jacob, come in. What's your status? Shepard, the facility's overrun. Cerberus troops are all over the place. One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Yeah, they do that. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer. That's funny you mentioned Code Veronica, because that was the one that uh, I had trouble with the most in, like, the middle area. And then eventually had to come back to to, to finish it up. I think it was just fatigue for the most part. I mean, Mannequin knows. We specifically bought a Dreamcast just to play Code Veronica. Ah, what is shooting me? Ah, this bitch. There's an Atlas coming. That was the last of the civilians. Shepard, heads up! The place is overrun! We gotta go! Headed to you with the shuttle! Understood. Understood. An armored reinforcement has landed. Jacob, hang tight. Where are you landing, so? Shit! Dude took me off guard. Hey, you guys stay here. I'll take care of this. How are you not reloading yet? God damn, dude. That fucker down, no problem. No problem. Roger that. That's funny, that's Mannequin's fave too. I like RE3. It was definitely a, a cool take finally getting into the city instead of like the mansion and then the police force. 
Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I don't even remember hating you in the first place. That was back before the time of, you know, well, you know, they didn't have the gaming magazines as big as they are now, or as they were in the, you know, late 90s, early 2000s. And the internet obviously wasn't going to give any answers, so. What was I to do? Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. That's what I do. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. Did we? I don't even remember, dude. I honestly don't even remember a time before we were friends. It was like you and Steve O'Malley and that weird dude at Food Ave whose name I can't remember. Nah. <laughs> I honestly can't even. I like. I remember you being basically just your mom's son. Be like, oh yeah, well, you know. Guess he works here now. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Hack it out. <laughs> get some Resident Evil talk going up in here. Let's see how the assets are doing. We're almost at max green. I'm telling you, Pablo, you don't need... <laughs> yeah, well, like I said, Bidus, I don't even remember what he's talking about. Maybe I, maybe we were rivals in his head. But literally, we were like, n we barely knew each other for like two months. And then out of the blue, I asked him like... Uh, or maybe he asked me a question about Resident Evil. And then that was that. That was it. And then we were like friends from then on. And he was like, you know, the best man at my wedding, and so on and so forth, etc., etc. Yeah, Pablo, I don't think you need to have any readiness once the extended cut was uh, downloaded. It's not like before. Because we're going to be well into the green once everything is said and done. I never talked to that guy, but I don't like him. He's a dick. <laughs> read my chat. I've been trying to read my chat. I'm just trying to focus on not dying, too. Really? Who? The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. Wow, your neck should you not turn, turn like rubbery? that. Yes, well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring some... <laughs> Dude, by this, there's absolutely no way I could possibly finish this game in one night. Yeah, teenage tough guy rivals, except for Steve. Steve was just a weird dude. Oh, and that other dude. What was that one dude's name? Remember the other kid? He always wore, like, the...
the safety belt whenever he did carts. And, I mean, you weren't there for opening day, but he was the dude that got, it It was like, what did he got? He got like a Celine Dion CD when they gave us all free CDs for opening day. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. Yeah, take it easy, Bytus. Pretty sure I said that, but in case I didn't, because I'm kind of out of it right now. How's Jacob? He'll be okay. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything, After everything he's done, the elusive man... That's it! Mike I, the cart douche. God damn, I forgot that, that dude. All right, Bytus. Appreciate it as always. You know, I'll be streaming this shit for the next week and a half or so, or however long it takes me to finish it. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tchunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moss. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the cart bitch, the yes. Mike the cart bitch. By a worm. This has caused me to reassess the It's like even Steve O. Before I am non-functional. He got worried about You know, it wasn't in a sense. Like a My great CD, but he got I think it was like some kind of but I can run those scenarios with the rest Trendy, of the like, pop rock band. You and you're just like, eh, whatever. Jeff. Okay. And then, th and then Mike the Cart Bitch the got, like, Celine line? Dion. And you're just like, what the... F what? The fuck? No, not Jeffrey. Jeffrey was, you know, I mean, Jeffrey was Jeffrey. You couldn't, you couldn't bust on Jeffrey. He, was, he did what he did. It's not that different from organic life. Free will synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do, good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the <laughs> Yes. I wasn't going to elaborate, but there you go. Jeffrey was the ladies' man. He always got the ladies. That was quick. Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just going to turn yourself good? Can you do that? <laughs> it should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Well, Edie's coming along nicely. Whoa, damn, I'm like right up on top of her now. It's an interesting view. Anyway. Let's see if anybody else wants to get talked to. Shepard is a talking machine. Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Apparently a lot of people want to talk to me. I think somebody said the med bay. Ah, what was... I know who you're talking about. Now I can't remember, though. Maybe Paul remembers. No, not Satan. Anne McCaffrey. How could you forget that name? <coughs> it was, I know who Pat is talking about, and I just can't remember like the, the exact name. I can kind of picture her. What's the matter, but Carrie? May I speak with you? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. 
Back in my C-Sec days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought up a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story junk. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had now. I tracked down okay. this guy, Sarah. Yeah. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and a Magic was weird. For three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> yeah. Was Pretty Shepard much, man. In the very beginning. That just means you're old. You can take the girl out of the Kensington, but you can't take the Kensington out of the girl. And I use the term girl the loosely. Saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. Hey, really? Commander. That's all you got, Jay? Or, uh, James? Don't mind us. Just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. So, who needs their See, I can't remember anybody's name. Commander? An opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Debbie! Precisely. That's it. Perhaps you could fly yes. arms to broker a trade. Now the name... It rings. Paul probably remember now. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Well, that's a noble idea. All right, Sam. Take it easy, brother. Have a safe drive home. I think there's anything in here to look at. Yeah, nothing. I don't even know what Chakwas just asked me. You think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. Do you know you have? I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega. Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. I had to kill them by myself. To worm next, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. <laughs> the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. Nah. Yeah, take it easy, Sam. Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. Take a murder. So, who needs their ass kicked uh -huh. now? Anyway, let's see what Liar is doing, if she's even in here. Have we heard from Agent DeTrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. In you could te keep talking, Liar. Usually you do, but whatever. Anyway, shields or weapons, weapons or shields. Yeah, give me shields. And ammo capacity, hell yes. Power damage bonus, excellent. And more power damage bonus, excellent. Useless information, Zaid's preparing for war. Jacob's love letter, glad we're prying in on that.
but that's a good dude right there. Shepard, I know you've gone back to Jack. Liara, I... Be with whoever you want to be with. I'm just not interested in playing games Ooh, anymore. Oh, she's pissed. Really, I don't believe either of us has the time. I've got quite a bit to coordinate with my agents. If you want to talk, it has to be later. I'm occupied, Shepard. <laughs> she got pissed. Ah. Uh, I don't like it when Liara is mad at me, but I'm occupied, Shepard. She is p pissed. You've been through a lot, Scar. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Nah. <laughs> Yeah, that is a hundred percent true, mannequin. Except for Pablo, you know, you know Pablo loves to blaze. He smoke a whole field before you. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm actually getting pretty tired. <laughs> it's the first stream back. Gears took it out of me. Do you ever think about when we were abducted by? No, I don't. Me neither. Glad that settled. You should go see Adams, Commander. Adams would like to speak to you. Maybe Adams would like to speak to me. Command, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It's better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. Who should I be listening to? People are talking all over the place. What the hell's wrong with your neck? Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Oh, well, there you go. XP and ESO. And a pissed off Liara. You and this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this yeah, war. Yeah, kinda. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with you. I mean, obviously, I've been up since like 6:30 this morning. I can extrapolate packed this everything, I have and then you know, got on a plane, flew home, Cerberus. drove home. You mean you have chosen Played gears. your creators? Correct. Now it's one in the morning. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Huge Our pothead stoner. Huge. There was nowhere left to run. Like the biggest in the galaxy. I trust you, Commander. When you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals. Otherwise... Perhaps later. Yeah, that's fine, Javik. Nothing you're saying is interesting to me. And you got fucking allers here. Uh, I'm falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? You coming on to me? Because that would not be okay. Actually, there's no reason to even go down here. James isn't down there. It's only Steve. And I don't give two shits about Steve. Oh, I'm here. Guess I might as well talk to him. Where is he? No, oh, here he is. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. Nothing. Not even a rep. Well, that was dumb. Any weapons I can upgrade? There's only one ep weapon I want to upgrade. Nope. Don't care, then.
I can get this Allers interview out of the way. <laughs> That's the way, the reason that Pablo acts the way he does now. That and then meth. I mean, meth will do that to you. Fucking trainer. Hamster. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments. Actually, not trainer. Less. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, <laughs> that's it. This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real world expertise will give you an edge. Ha! Oh, come on. My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass <laughs> comm officer to keep him in line. Hey, Arcanum. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Got one more to take care of. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus's strength in the coup attempt was their sleeper agents. If those agents had been exposed, a lot of lives might have been saved. We need constant vigilance. C-Sec and the troops can't do this alone. We've lost a major portion of our government. The most obvious human figure being the Counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed. We didn't the lose a Counselor. Dead. Counselor's fighting on Earth. session is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. Look, I don't even understand her point for being here. That's it. Oh, fucking James, too? God damn it. Everybody wants a... James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. Everybody wants a private session. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, Good James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. 
You just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, Sorry loco. I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? I'm a soldier, Vega, and I wanted to be the best damn soldier I could be. It doesn't get better than N7. So I hear. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, that kind of sucks. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Yeah, don't mention it to anyone, but go get a big get fucking bank tattoo bank on your back that says it's N7. Soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for nah. it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. Anyway. All right. We've done our little side bullshit. I think it's a good spot to just call it for the night. Because it is getting late. Alright. So, first stream back. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody that tuned in, auto-hosted, followed, and whatever else we do in the Twitch world. So, we'll probably be on again tomorrow. Maybe some gears beforehand, and then some Mass Effect afterwards. But... If you like what you see, obviously hit the follow button. If not, no worries. We're still going to play it anyway. And also, as usual, check out my two pals at the bottom of the screen there. Mannequin Skywalker with a number one instead of an I. And Pablo. Anyway, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching.